folks and welcome back to Relaxing Woodshop. My name is David. My name is Christopher. And on this week's video we are part two of the Damascus Steel Axe Handle. And the Damascus Steel Axe Handle is lovely isn't it? It's, it lovely. Is. it's coming along well. So it is. Yeah. Uh, just remember guys keep the likes and subscribes coming in. Absolutely. Your support really helps us. We do love doing this but we, we bit of extra uh, push gives us that wee bit of extra push on our side to just do more and push our envelope a wee bit further. Remember guys, we are not professionals. We just enjoy father-son company most of the time. You might not see some of the things that go on in the background where we're uh, killing each other, but um, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so Teddy's trying to work out the measurements, uh, as you can see here on the width of this. So what we need to do is measure one side of the handle, the other side of the handle, plus the metal itself, so we can then cut out our five wee um, copper rods, so we can then uh, taper, taper, or whatever it's called, uh, round the edges so we can. So what we'll do is, we'll get this here, set it up against our clamp, bring the measurements out, just so we can get it a little, it doesn't have to be completely, because we're going to tap them in, and that is 0.97. So we'll cut out five of the copper rods at 0.97. Uh, now, you can do it with a grinder and that, to be honest, I'm just going to do it with a pair of pliers and good old fashioned brute force and we'll see you in a second. Okay guys, in order to cut these out, I'll actually show the video rather than just say we'll do it in a second, I'll actually show it. So what I'm doing is, bringing the pliers to here, taking the measurement to there and then just kind of bringing myself up to where I need to be with the copper rod and then it's just a matter of double checking your measurements and there you go. So then. Good squeeze, bit of brute force, it does pop off, and then you can go hunting for it, there we go, and that's another one done. So that's four done, we'll do one more, and then we'll start then drilling the wee holes through uh, to match them. Right, so now that we've got the wee copper rods set in play, uh, what we'll do now is we'll drill out the five holes. Uh, now, luckily enough, the guy that made this has already pre-done uh, the five holes, so it has. So what we're going to do is get the drill. We've already locked this in place, so it's just a matter of putting the wee drill through the hole. So what we'll do now is we'll take that off the clamps, put it into the vise and drill right the way through. Okay guys, we've locked it into the vise, nothing too hard, remember it is wood. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to drill through to the back side, no, not the back side, we're going to drill through to the back end of the wood, uh, but do it nice and slow because you don't want to pull, pull those fibres through uh, to keep it nice and smooth as best you can. So. the five. So now what we'll do, we'll get the other side, measure it up and do the exact same thing. Okay guys, so we'll just tap through uh, the wee rods and as you can see they've come through on either side uh, matching the handles. Now it's just a good old fashioned slow process of just tapping, tapping, tapping away at it uh, to get the wee uh, edges in. So it is literally just a matter of that there. So let's get to it. Okay guys, after a lot of tapping, here we go, uh, it is all flush on the wee joints there, so it is. So now it's back to the good old fashioned sanding, and again we're going to go up all the grits right up to 600, uh, then we're going up to 800, then we're going up to 1500, and then I think they classify that as something stupid, so they do like 5000 or 10,000, but we'll just keep sanding and keep sanding, and then after that then we'll get on to the lacquering, so we'll, so don't go anywhere.
Okay guys, so now we're on to the drill press. This is the wee tabletop one, so it is, and we've put the polishing wheel on. So now we're just gonna polish this up before the lacquer. Uh-huh. Well folks, thank you so much again for joining in the Relaxing Woodshop. Yeah, thank you for the continued support, but sadly I have an announcement to make. I'll be heading back to university, um, so there'll be some weeks I won't be um, behind the camera, but just give you a heads up and get prepared. Yep, absolutely guys. He just stopped dead there, so he did have to take over <laughs> again. But yes, Christopher's going back to university. He will still be editing and he will still be making guest appearances. Uh, but of course he's got to get his studies and get his engineering thing sorted out there so he does so we look forward to seeing you next week at the relaxing wood shop bye guys bye